Freeze, ladies and gentlemen. You know who it is. It's your favorite bearded duelist, Mr. Omar. I'm back at it again with this uh, video. We're going to go and we're going to talk about the forbidden and limited list of Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, some of these uh, cards that got banned, I have to say, wasn't surprising. I am hurt. I felt Konami has definitely dropped the ball for the six Samurai players. But that's another story. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through the list. I'm looking at the list right now. And I have to say, the newly forbidden list, we're just going to jump straight on in. We got the Gizmic Puppet of Nightmare. Now, I can see in this card being forbidden because you don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh. You don't get to summon. You don't get to activate your effects. It's a very toxic card, so I definitely understand from it going three, now it's zero forbidden list. It's definitely understand. Now, the next on the list, forbidden list, we have Jones the Spiritualist. Now, this card stops us from special summoning, and if you can discard a card from your hand, all special summon monsters are sent to the graveyard. Uh, This card didn't give a lot of play, so... By them uh, banning it, doesn't really make any sense. Now, the very surprising thing that surprised me, I have to say, was the original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye. Now, this card was very impactful, especially for the Snake Eye decks, Fire King Snake Eye decks, uh, all kinds of variants. This card allows you to cheat out your uh, Diabelle Star. Now, I'm shocked at that one. I didn't see that one coming, but it was a no-brainer. Uh, now we're going to look at the limited list. We can only run one copy of this, and I am a Tenpai Dragon player. i never seen this card coming. They hit Chundra to one. So I'm thinking uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting start for 2025 meta. Yeah, a lot of Tenpai players are salty, but I definitely look at, we still got Door Door, and we still got Game Roku. So we can still go in sync roads, just going to be a little bit harder, and we have to put our thinking caps. They also uh, limited Zodiac Barrage for all your Zodiac players. So, hmm, understandable. I, me, personally, I don't think it's going to do an impact at all. Not at all. Another hit to our Tempi players, we have... Singing Kaiman, our quick play spell, our ability to go for that extensive OTK is only limited to one. So now we have the really have to put on a thinking cap because you can't go into your battle phase. And if you do, you got to make it count. So we have to fight through the Ash. We have to fight through the Ogre. We have to fight through the Droll. Uh, didn't see this one coming. Limited to two, yes, but limited to one really hurts the deck. But I get it. We're in the meta where they're pushing new decks, new products. Uh, we got the the U Bell Fusion. It's limited. Uh, I don't really think that's going to hurt the deck. May hurt some consistency. But at the end of the day, we're going to be in a format where we're going to have a lot of extensive new decks that are coming out. So they have to push out the olds. I get it. It's trending right now. Eventually, we will uh, be able to get these cards back. But for the time being, this game thrives on new decks, new strategies, and you purchasing new cards, which by that means dumping a lot more money to be more competitive. We're going to go to a semi-limited list. We got Ava. You can run two copies of this. I was very shocked to see this card get semi-limited Cyber Jar. Now, in this format, do you think that would be a great idea to have limited Cyber Jar? Dra Cyber Dragon? Well, Cyber Jar. Uh, I used to play this card back in the early 2000s. Uh, send the cards in the field, draw five cards. Monsters go in your hand. Other cards go to the graveyard. So. I think it's really too slow. But Bigfoot players, we can now have 
Danger. Chushinogo to two. And we have Danger Jackalope to two. Hmm. Danger Dark World, anybody? And we have a uh, monkey board limited to two. So with the limited list, I'm not really surprised. Uh, I have to say it's something different. I don't think these cards will even make a splash in the meta, depending on uh, what decks you're going to be going through. Now we're going to go to the unlimited. Now we can run three of these copies of cards. The first one, we have the Lunar Light Tiger. The next one, we have the... Um, hmm. We have the, well, 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 let me make sure because I don't want to mispronounce this card. We have the Rescue Ace to three. We have the Dragons. All of these to three, which I really don't think the Dragons are going to do any impact. I really don't see it happening at all. Uh, the Buster Dragon, the Redux Dragon. In a Tempest Dragon, all to three copies. Back in the day, it probably would have made an impact, but right now, I really don't see this deck doing too much. What well, is surprising, though, we have not one, not two, but three copies of Dino Wrestler Panker Tops. Now, I really like Dino Wrestler Panker Tops. Uh, 2600 beater, special summon itself. You can beat over your opponent. Or you could trip it off to destroy the card on the field. I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really surprised about that. It was about time to let this card because the the meta we going into is going to be ridiculous. Uh, Spear gates, three of those things. So you be able, you be able to do a little extension, not a lot, but a little. Now this one got me three problematic thunder dragon colossus. Hmm. So you can't add, you can't special summon from the deck. And we also have uh, IB World Chalice to three, which I am um, really like. Okay, it's not a bad forbidden list. But after going through these cards and seeing what the hits, uh, definitely Tempire Dragon players, we're going to have to put a thinking cap for this one. Most definitely. A lot of people are going to jump off the Tempai Dragons deck, but I am a loyal Tempai Dragon player. So I'm going to experience. I'm going to try and uh, take it to the locals, see what we can do. Uh, my next video, I will be doing a deck profile on a post ban list to Tempai Dragons. Uh, I'm going to get ready to conclude this video, but I definitely want to bring something to your attention. I'm really uh, disappointed in Konami when it comes to not letting gateway of the six samurai out i mean we have three black world whirlwinds you know what's up i mean come on you could at least let us get this card semi limited to at least two but i understand y'all want to really put out the new stuff and i understand it's going to be a different shakeup of the meta so this is your favorite bearded duelist, Mr. Omar. I kind of prolonged a little bit, but this video is going to be under 10 minutes. I definitely want to appreciate my subscribers for coming in through the clutch. I'm at 330 sub subs. I appreciate you guys. We are getting up that ladder for the monetization. I'm going to keep pumping out content. I'm going to keep coming with more deck profiles, newer content. Uh, also working on my team, uh, a five-man team for my Yu-Gi-Oh! group. It's going to be coming out soon. So you want to meet some members that uh, we're going to go take the tournaments by storm to our local tournaments. And then even eventually, we're going to go out to our regional tournaments. So with that being said, I want you to like, I want you to share. I definitely need you to subscribe so I can keep pumping out more content, keep giving you the great deck profiles. And hey, at the end of the day, we're going to grow together. So with that being said, I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Be safe on this Monday. Post ban list. We're going to see some more stuff coming. And other than that, y'all have a great day. Peace.